Today we are going to explore our SFR rating across two tracks, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, when we release our next analysis, you'll get notified. So what we have on the screen is our Quick Insights Episode 2 dashboard, and we're going to analyse the SFR and the box in combination for the meadows. Now just a quick glance at this track with races 100% or above, meaning 100% here in this box. We're looking at the SFR value and the box. So on our reports and data files, column BX and then SFR here. Now looking at the meadows, it's quite obvious that the box one has the highest strike rate but then if we looked at value in the market box 4 has a higher value meaning that the strike rate is 13.6 if we convert that to a dollar value it's 7.3 so that's 100 divided by 13.6 with the average price for the winners that occurred in that scenario was $8.50 and that's using our internal average price we collect. Now, if I fiddle around with some of the settings, I can then see the differences across each, each box. So, if I look at the SFR and I set that to zero, what I've done there is I've pretty much highlighted the ones that are in red and have a plus, which means they're above the race average. And I can quickly see the strike rate changes to 18.5 and the dynamics change once again. The edge has now moved down to box 7 and not too many end up in box 7 compared to the rest where the high strike rate is still in box 1. If I then increase by 0.5 at the meadows I can see the strike rate slightly lifts and then if I go to 1, 1.5, it's constantly increasing. It looks like now box 8 seems to be the better box with our highly rated SFR rating. So if I just pop that back to 1. So basically once we hit any Greyhound that in our SFR is above 1 and he's ranked 8th last year, um, it was a 22% strike rate and sort of match the strike rate, the price available. Now if you can get a better price then you'd be slightly ahead uh, with the edge there. Now I might just go down in increments to see how much of a variance I can get. And it's creeping up slowly. So there are a fair amount of bets here across the board. It's 866 but we're just looking at that box 8 at the moment. and then sort of exploring it. So it looks like if anything in box 8 at 1.5 is, is a good range to work with. If I go up in to 2, 3, it does trim quite down to low record, so there's not much there. Um, so that's a quick insight into the meadows, and it looks like the SFR at 1.5 and above box 8 at the meadows last year was really good um, so keep that in mind jot that down on a pen and paper and we'll have a quick look now over in Sydney at Wentworth Park okay so looking at Wentworth Park without any settings applied it looks like box 2, 3 and 8 are good places to begin it it's strange that the strike rate slightly higher at box 2 um, than box 1 so that seems to be the, the favourite box there and if I click on that I can see how it has performed across each month it's fairly high in December now as I work through the SFR if I pop that to 0 I can then start to get some more insights and I can see that there are some other boxes which look really well um, 
but just on that box too, across most of the months, it's fairly consistent at around 20%. Give or take a few, October was a shocker, but picked back up in November and December. So that's almost roughly one in in five bets will will win. Um, and that's basically looking at our runners that are above zero at Wentworth Park in box two. Box five looks really good as well. And then number seven. Uh, sort of inconsistent, not many records. I can then fiddle around and I'll, I'll increment by 0.5 and then as I do that I can see box 2 and 3 sort of line up. Further increasing there, 1.5, 2, 5. so I think I've gone too far, so if I stick it, I think it was 1. And then it was box two to three. Seemed to work really well, apart from August, September, October, um, using an average internal price we capture. So uh, there's some pretty good settings. I like this one, box two only. And then I know that using getting a better price elsewhere will have a further edge. Thanks for tuning in. If you're looking for deeper insights into profit and loss return on investment, and strike rate analysis, subscribe to our monthly membership for full access to our VIP area and learning content.